Hello everyone and welcome. Uh, my name is Brent. Today I want to talk about master planning design in Revit. Um, it is very possible and in fact it's uh, super easy and fun. It's like playing with Legos uh, if you use this little strategy here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and open up this downloadable file. Um, this is called Jarvis and it's by OneSheet. I'll put the link to the website where you can find this down below in the description here. Um, but basically what this is, is a downloadable Revit file. Um, so if you're doing a master plan uh, for any type of project, any scale of project, almost any size of project, um, you're going to want to download this because this is, uh, this is cool stuff. So when you open uh, Jarvis, you open up this Revit file, you're going to see there's really just this one sheet in here. Get it? One sheet. Um, and this is where you do all your work. So you don't have to go sorting through a bunch of different views, a bunch of different sheets and all that kind of thing. Um, basically, Jarvis just lets you work all in this one spot uh, to do everything. And while you're working, you can see all of the uh, data being displayed about your project, all the stuff that's relevant, square footages and all that. So um, let's just go ahead and tour this because it's pretty fun. So in the middle is just your, your main working view. It's a big 3D view here. Uh, if you click in, you can just kind of rotate around and you know get all your stuff done uh, 3d modeling wise and what's cool here is you have sections these two sections uh, up here which are also tied to this floor plan so um, you'll notice i put little things on here that exist to help you control where your floor plan view is taken from um, so it's actually just a section again this is meant to make uh, workflow just super easy so you can go back and forth between your plan and your sections and do all of your modeling all that great stuff um, there's some really interesting things happening with this uh, file i want to show you to actually build uh, these massings <laughs> these are actually ceiling families in revit um, and that is just to make things super simple uh, and there's a bunch of custom parameters and uh, custom filters and all this stuff that's pre-built into this um, so that you can do master planning projects uh, really super quickly. So what happens when you click on any of these volumes, any of these parking spaces, you'll see all of this, these slots for data to put, put uh, relevant project information like, you know, which, which building is it part of, which parcel is it part of, you know, what's, uh, what's the target efficiency, um, unless you're actually also modeling the hallways with these ceilings, um, in which case you set efficiency to one because then the calculation just multiplies it by one rather than by your uh, targeted efficiency. And again, you can draw these parking spaces. These parking space families come preloaded into this uh, file, and it's and it's pretty nice because you can create rows of parking pretty simply and easily. You just kind of drag these um, arrows around, and you got your parking. And the real cool part here is while you're doing all this stuff, while you're modeling, you're modifying the the footprints of you know all of these volumes. If I go edit boundary, you can obviously see. Um, how we can how we can modify the floor plan either here in the 3d view or in the plan view over here while you're doing all that stuff you're going to get all these schedules uh giving you a live feed live feedback of the data of your project it's super fun um basically you can do a lot of design work you know and then come back and double check this stuff um, and also let this stuff inform you know future design options so you've got you know, all of your uses, uh, this is all of what it comes with here, fitness, grocery, hotel, office, residential, um, you know, it's pretty cool. You can go in here and change, uh, you know, how some of this is named or some of the colors on here if you'd like, but it's all here. So that's broken out by percentage, usable, gross square feet, uh, number of units, uh, only applying to hotels and, and residential, multifamily, that kind of thing. Um, also in here, it's displaying your parking ratios, the parking required, the parking provided. Um, this up on the top right is is driving basically all of your project overall numbers. So you'll be seeing, you know, all of this broken out by building one, two, three, four, you know, goes all the way up to 10 buildings. Um, down here uh, or next to that, you'll see buildings, the square footage is broken out by use. Um, so you're seeing if you have a building that's multi, you know, mixed use, has many uses, you'll see that number broken out. And then similarly on the right, you'll get to see each building broken out by uh, square footage, usable square footage service, uh, that kind of thing. And again, the number of units so that you can see it both 
project-wide as well as by building. Um, similarly with the parking, the parking is broken out by which garage number it's part of, which this is all part of the parameters you fill out in the actual 3D view. You get the square footages here and you also get um, the cars provided, you know, ADA required and also provided. So that's all really fun. Uh, in terms of doing just a really simple basic model, um, when you're going, you know, at full speed here, developing options, these these quick schedules here show you the number of cars required and provided simply overall so that you can really quickly balance your site with parking. Um, this this file here that, that you can buy on the OneSheet website uh, also comes with these uh, little views, these little helper views that help you make sure things are labeled properly because as you might be thinking right now, uh, how do you know that you've got things labeled right? Because your numbers may not be right if you don't have things labeled right. Well, I'll show you real quick here, just as an example. So what if, for instance, this garage plate and this row of parking I have here selected has the wrong garage number attached to it? Let's see, on accident, it has garage four um, put on there for whatever reason. You're going to see it not show up here. You're going to see it floating around somewhere down here under garage four, right? And that's how you're going to know you have that mislabeled. So nifty things like that really help out. Uh, it makes it so that you can really, really quickly uh, do your uh, do your projects and make sure that they're accurate. That's the, that's the key thing here. We want speed and accuracy. This whole thing uh, has been built to maximize your speed and accuracy for, for designing these things and for, for validating your design. So um, last but not least, if we go to the bottom here, similar to how the garage uh, helper views work, these views help you make sure that you've labeled the each each building element, parking, you know, building volume, whatever it might be, helps you make sure that you have them labeled right, which parcel they're a part of. Um, so we can have up to six parcels. That would be parcel F down here on the right. Um, and then below each of these, you have uh, similar to the upper right on this uh, on this sheet on this view that we're looking at, um, you'll see the data about your project being broken out by parcel, right? So these buildings all have are all labeled with parcel A, um, and we also know that the uh, I've got a plane here that identifies the acreages um, that that has a filter applied to it that automatically darkens it, so you kind of know. Um, you know what what you're supposed to be looking at or you know what the data is reflecting that's underneath here really there's only a few parameters um, that you have to worry about you know building um, you know which use it is and and the target efficiency and uh, you know that kind of thing filling out the 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 uh, cars required uh, sections as well and then doing that simple amount really just gives you this whole treasure trove of, of data about your project and you know you can then take this information uh, you can you can throw it into your presentation, your Excel sheet, whatever it might be. Um, you can also export this 3D model uh, into SketchUp or you know whatever other software that you're that you're using to do your presentations and your 3D modeling with. And you can build on top of it. You can you can export this and actually or not even export it. You can link this uh, this project into another Revit project, right? Um, so that that makes things super simple. In terms of in terms of very simple master planning, if you already know Revit, this is great. You don't have to learn a new software. You know, uh, worry about generative design and that kind of thing. Although that stuff is great, and you can use that in combination with this. Um, you know, this this makes it real simple for you. And I would even recommend uh, novice Revit users to to explore this because uh, it's really super e super easy to learn. And you know, what we're doing here is really kind of unlocking. The, uh, the potentials inside of Revit that, that, are, that are not often tapped into. So again, if you're, if you're interested in, in actually using this for yourself, downloading this for yourself, um, you know, and, and getting access to the families that are in here that, uh, that are all set up for you, go to the website in the description down below. I've got the link there. Um, you can go there, download it. With the download, with the purchase of this file, uh, you also get five lessons, five video lessons um, to show you specifically how to use each element in here, uh, which is super great and super helpful. So I encourage everybody who's an architect or who wants to be an architect um, to go explore this because uh, it's, you know, it's been a lot of fun. It, it kind of reminds me of, of uh, 
playing with Legos as a kid, you know, except for now we're doing it and we get numbers. So um, let's uh, let's take advantage of this this amazing software that we've got at our fingertips, people. All right, we'll see you in the next video.